So I like to pick a street at random and walk it end to end and see what we find along the way. The last was Wall Street and this is 46th. New York is a city of opposites and extremes and is appropriately flanked in Midtown by symbols of war and peace. On the eastern end, we have the international institution dedicated to peace, and on the western end, we have a symbol of war, a naval aircraft carrier. Built in the early 1940s uh, for $44 million it fought during World War II, Korea and Vietnam, carrying 100 aircraft and 3,000 men. It was modernized in 1954, decommissioned in 1974, almost sold for scrap in 1978, but it was converted into a museum in August of 1982. Ladies and gentlemen, the USS Intrepid. What the? Oh, come on! It was right here. It was this giant aircraft carrier. It's three football fields long. Where, where is the, the USS Intrepid? You need to do more research before you send us to these places. Well, the Guggenheim was under restoration. Central Park had construction. There is no aircraft carrier. You know, hey, why don't you send us down to City Hall next Saturday? Here they're throwing a ticker tape parade for Charles Lindbergh. He's back from Paris. No, you're being ridiculous. The USS Intrepid is no longer here. It's been called back into active duty because of the recent surge. It's currently fighting in the Persian Gulf. Now, not all museums were called back into active duty. Uh, only museums that were once aircraft carriers or that looked like they could fight a battle, like the Whitney. Actually, the Intrepid is in dry dock for renovation in New Jersey. The plan is at some point to move it to Staten Island and then to bring it back here during the fall of 2008. That's right. This is the ship that's a great fanfare last fall with politicians on board, music playing was moved just a few feet before it got stuck in the mud. 25 years worth of muck. 39,000 cubic yards of sediment had to be removed before they were able to move the ship. Just like this, except 39,000 cubic yards more. Th thank you. No, you're being ridiculous.